Okay. Okay. All right. We're here. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Big Boy Sports is here. Let me take out my damn earphones real quick. And uh, we're here to talk about WrestleMania 36. The preview for one of the for the Super Bowl of the WWE, the the grandest stage of them all in all of sports entertainment and all of professional wrestling. And let me tell you, I am excited. This is a two night event thanks to Corona Chan coming into the country, um, which is. You know, it's a, gonna be great. You know, two night, two night event and stuff like that. I'm assuming it's gonna be cut down the middle as far as matches goes. We got a lot of matches on this card. Let me tell you, big, big event, Ooh, big event time. So I imagine both of these events will probably be like four hours. Uh, but uh, yeah, the pre-show starts at. 6 o'clock Eastern Time, that's 5 o'clock over here, which I don't really care, you know, for the pre-show. The main show, is, which starts at 6, so I'm assuming it's going to be like 3, 3 and a half, maybe 4 hours each night. Um, but we do have the card here, and y'all remember Brock Lesnar, still the WWE Champion, you know, after, you know, all this time, you know, back of the Royal Rumble got eliminated by Drew McIntyre, which was the last WWE event I watched, so, you know, uh, yeah, Royal Rumble, it's been a hot minute, um, so, you know, that match was set in stone the moment the Royal Rumble was a thing, and, hap and it happened, so, you know, that's what it set up, I'm so glad that somebody knew uh, for Brock to take on, you know, and I'm excited for Drew McIntyre, I'm not gonna lie to you, should have got this chance all the way back years ago when he was first at WWE. He should have got this chance back years ago. Oh, I'm telling you. Uh, but here we go with the Universal Championship. My goodness gracious delight. The, 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 the Saudi Arabia event, which was the one that Goldberg beat Bray Wyatt, which was something that, which, that should not have happened at all. And... You know, it is what it is. But Goldberg is taking on Braun Strowman. I honestly do not care, to be completely honest, about the Universal Championship match. Um, Goldberg is just, he's old. I mean, I mean, I can't, I just, I just can't, I just can't see it. I don't get it. He was brought back in to squash Bray Wyatt again. And we'll talk about Bray Wyatt in a moment because his match is further down here on the list that I have in front of me. Um, but, you know. Braun Strowman should be a good match for, for Goldberg, you know, um, and everything like that. As long as that's as long as the match only goes like five minutes and not like 10, 15, you know, it'll be good. It'll be fine. But then we have the Raw Women's Championship. Becky Lynch versus Shayna Baszler. Oh, boy, this is going to be one hell of a matchup, let me tell you. I am ready uh, for this at all costs. It's going to be fun. You know, it's a heavy hitter type matchup. Um, the man who's been basically, you know, on top of the women's division for a while now. Um, Shayna Baszler, who's been in this up and coming, you know, bright um, former UFC star, you know, just came in, start wrecking, wrecking shit too. She came in, started wrecking stuff. Uh, she had a really good match. I want to say it was at the Royal Bubble. It might have been Survivor Series. Uh, from 2019, um, which I watched, I think I don't know which I don't know which event it was, but um, she can wrestle. She can she can damn sure wrestle. Shayna Baszler can. Um, speaking of other matches, we're talking about you know for the women anyway. Um, the NXT Women's Championship. Charlotte Flair came back in the NXT one night and. Rhea Ripley was like, okay, let's go. And now that's going to be a thing. It's probably going to be a great match, you know, as long as you got it. You got to keep Charlotte, you know, away from, you know, like the main title picture sometimes. And this is probably a good time to, you know, do that because there's so much other stuff going on with the uh, women's division that you got. You can't just have the spotlight be taken over by one gal. I'm, I'm sorry. But, you know, yeah. 
So there's that. That's going to be very interesting. You know, another interesting match. We've only got like one match that really does not interest me so far. But here we go. Last man standing. Guess who came back at the Royal Rumble, baby? Edge. He came back. Now he's taking on his former buddy from Rated RKO. Y'all remember Rated RKO, right? Boy, that was a good ass stable. And this is going to be a good ass match. As long as Edge doesn't hurt his neck or anything, you know, this will be a good match, I'm telling you. Um, you know, Randy Orton has just been, you know, he's going back to his old Randy Orton ways. Y'all remember the punt and stuff like that? You know, that Randy Orton, that scumbaggy Randy Orton. I really like the scumbaggy Randy Orton. You know, he's that type of guy, you know. And then we have The Undertaker coming back for another match, which I really do not care for, to be completely honest. Um, the streak ended a long time ago, and, you know, there's been attempts to revitalize and try, you know, keep The Undertaker here. But he's taking on AJ Styles. It's very interesting. It's a Boneyard match, I'm going to assume. I don't know what in the world a Boneyard match is. And there's also another match to we'll have to talk about, which I don't know what it is going to be either. Um, but, you know, um, The Undertaker's kind of overstayed his welcome at this point. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, just, it, it just is what it is. Dude is 50 now, and, you know, it's, it's about that time. You know, the, the father time is catching up to him. I mean, he, I mean yeah, he, he still looks good sometimes, you know, and sometimes he just looks down like, ooh, oh, God, what happened to you, my brother? And, and you know, it just is what it is. That's how it's been for the Undertaker, you know. Um, but yeah, this should be interesting as well. Uh, um, for, you know, the Undertaker. Um, it might be a good match as long as it doesn't go too long. You know, I'll be fine with it. But then we got the Firefly Funhouse match. John Cena's back, baby. It's been so long since I've seen John Cena in a WWE event. It feels like it's been like five years, but it's really only been like one or two. Because um, Cena's been working on, you know, other stuff, like you know, filming stuff and whatnot. Um, but, you know, once again, getting shafted is The Fiend, the Bray Wyatt. And, you know, it's it's a damn shame that he is. And we all, and we've seen John Cena and Bray Wyatt face off a couple times before pay-per-view events. It really has needing you know, done anything for either of them too much. Um, it, it, it would be just the status quo um, for these two. But whatever this Firefly Funhouse match, I imagine it will take place in the Firefly Funhouse, which is already a weird place, you know, to begin with. Um, but yeah, should be an interesting matchup. Um, but then we got the SmackDown Women's Championship Fatal Five Four Way Fatal Five Elimination. My I'm dumb. Uh, we got Bailey. We got Sasha Banks. They've been feuding for a hot minute. We got Lacey Evans as well. Naomi and Tamina. Don't really care for Naomi and Tamina being here, nor do I really care for Lacey Evans being here. This is probably this is about Bailey and Sasha Banks. This is personal, man. This is a personal type match, and it's gonna it's probably it's gonna it's gonna boil down to those two at the end of the day. Let me tell you. Um. So, yeah, that should be very interesting. Another women's match that should be very interesting to see. Um, and then we got the Intercontinental Championship. Sami Zayn taking on Daniel Bryan. Um, Sami Zayn, the Intercontinental Champion. You know, really haven't heard much from Sami Zayn in quite a while. And, of course, Daniel Bryan, you know, he's, he's kind of... I guess this is what's happened to him since, you know, losing to Bray Wyatt a couple times on pay-per-view. Um, stuff like that. So, you know, it is what it is. It should be a good match. It's, I think it's one of those matches that I don't think I've ever seen before. But I think, you know, it happened in, like, other promotions and stuff. You know, Danny Bryan and Sami Zayn back when they were, you know, under different names. But, uh, yeah, should be interesting. Kevin Owens taking on Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has just not been the most likable guy. And I guess he's just been, you know, he's been down on the dumps lately. Let me tell you, at the very least, um... But this should be a good match, too. You know, Kevin Owens always brings us a good show. And Seth Rollins could wrestle himself, man. So this should be a good show uh, for the, for that match. We've got about 
Five or six more matches left here. Um, we got the um, SmackDown Tag Team Championship. John Morrison came back. He's teamed up with The Miz again, his old partner. Now he's it's going to be a triple threat tag team matchup. You know, Morrison and The Miz taking on the Usos and the New Day. Um, really not a lot of tag teams, you know, just kind of... Mm, mm. Um, so, you know, it just is what it is. Um, that should be pretty fun. Now, here's a matchup. Now, here's a tag team matchup that I've, you know, like the Street Profits. Um, I think I've heard of them. Haven't heard of Angel Garza or Austin Theory, though, so that's a little bit new to me. And I don't really care for this matchup because I don't I don't know who the Street Profits really are. I've seen them, but it's just like, okay, who cares? Uh, but then we got the Women's Tag Team Championship. This should also be pretty interesting. We got the Kabuki Warriors taking on Alexa Bliss. Nikki Cross should be fun. Um, and then the last couple matches down the card, Dolph Ziggler is probably pissed right now. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, Dolph. You should have left WWE a while ago. You should have left when they screwed you over because you were injured. You know, And he's taking on Otis. Um, so, uh, uh, Bobby Lashley's taking on Aleister Black. Um, Aleister Black's a good guy. I like him a lot. Um, Bobby Lashley is just kind of there at this point. You know, uh, that whole cringy storyline with Rusev and, and Lana, I hope that is completely done and over with because that is just, uh, oh, God, I want to barf. Uh, but then the last matchup here is King Corbin versus Elias. So, you know, that's that's a thing. I don't know what to think about that. I didn't think that was going to be a thing, but it is indeed a thing. So I'm assuming, you know, we got about, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, we got about 16 matchups here. Um, so I'm assuming they'll cut those eight matches across, you know, the three and a half, four hours. The WrestleMania usually is for both events. Um, so that's, so both of these events should be, both of these nights should be very, very fun at the very least. And I'm excited because this will be the last WWE related thing that I'll be doing for a while. Um, at least until SummerSlam, which is in like July or rather August. Um, so you know, there's that. And this is just to fill the void because there's no other sports going on right now. Um, WWE is filmed up until May and stuff like that, along with, you know, some other stuff that I'm interested in that's also filmed up until May. Um, stick around on the channel, though. We do have more stuff coming. Um, there will be a recap for WrestleMania, like, literally after the event is over. We're talking 10 o'clock. Um, we're talking, like, 10, 11 o'clock when the event is over. Um, and everything like that. I'll have a thread on my Twitter. Um, I don't link my Twitter to this channel. Uh, I don't want people bothering me. Um, but yeah. So, you know, you guys are the real MVPs. Come on down, stick around. We'll see you guys Saturday night and Sunday night for these recaps of these events. Now, I don't know which matchups are going to be on which event, but you know. It's going to be very, very fun. I'm excited for this event. There's only a couple of meh type of matches. A lot of them are pretty damn good ones, though. So let's do it, boys. WrestleMania 36 is here. I'm excited.